welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm going to be sewing for the first time my very first shorts. I have a shorts that I really like that I bought a long time ago and I really wanted to make another one because that one is quite old. So I got that shorts, I made all the pattern and look at this prettiness! Prettiness? <laughs> And this is how it turned out and I really really like it so I really hope you guys enjoy today's video if you do make sure you like this video and also don't forget to subscribe so you can watch more videos like this one so enjoy the video and let's begin So the first thing we are going to be doing is creating the pattern for the shorts and I'm going to be using here printing paper because I don't have the actual papers that you do the patterns but if you have them feel free to use it and I'm also going to be using a pen so I can trace it around my paper and my shorts. Now what I'm doing here is just gluing two pieces of paper together so I can actually fit my shorts right in the middle. Now you want to turn your shorts inside out and you just want to place on top of the paper and you're basically going to be tracing it around. Here we are doing the back of the shorts and once you've done the tracing you're just going to be cutting all the lines. And then we are going to be doing a little extension that I actually didn't do <laughs> and this one is basically me after creating the extra little piece for the shorts because I thought it would work without it but it didn't so I am going to be showing you guys how to make this little extension right here if you by mistake made this mistake that I did right here with your shorts and also I'm showing you guys this now because then you don't make the same mistake I did throughout the video so I'm just inserting these clips at the beginning so you can actually make this little extension and actually cut your fabric the right way so you don't have the same mistake I did you're going to be placing a paper just behind the pattern of the back of the shorts that we've just made just right in the crotch area and then from the crotch area you're going to be measuring eight centimeters so i'm just going to be marking that centimeter down and before i continue i'm just going to be gluing the pattern with the actual paper that we're going to be making the little extension now with a ruler you just want to go back into that marking that you did you're just going to be creating a line going across because then we're just going to come with the other two lines that we're going to be creating on the top and the bottom and they are all going to be connecting now you're going to be placing your ruler just following the line of the bottom of the shorts and connecting to the first line that we've created and you're just going to be creating a line going across and for this little curve that we have here in the pattern, I'm just going to be kind of following the curve that I already have in the pattern and just hand draw all the way down and also I'm going to be using the ruler to help me at the end so I have a nice and straight pattern here right in the crotch area and once you have that done you can cut all the lines that we have drawn before along the way I've also glued before I've cut here because then it's not gonna be moving around and it's also going to be stay still when you are cutting the fabric as well and this is how it should look like once you have added a little extension that I just showed you guys so now you're just going to be following the same steps for the back of the shorts and you're going to be cutting a pattern for the front of the shorts but now we're just going to be doing exactly how um, it is here when you fold on the reverse on the front of the shorts because you don't really need any extensions here for the crotch area and also make sure that you name each of the parts that you're cutting as well so this shorts has this wraparound part right at the front so we are going to be also making a little pattern for this one you're going to be placing the front of the shorts facing the paper so we can actually trace the side right here of the shorts because that's basically going to be helping when we flip to the other side and create the rest of the pattern so just trace it on the side right here and then once you've done that you can just go ahead and cut this line so now you're going to be having the front of the shorts facing you you're going to be basically fitting the paper that we've just cut right on top of that wraparound part of the shorts and you're basically going to be just cutting where the wraparound finishes and also right at the top following the little curve that we have for the waist as well. Now you should have the back, the front and also the wraparound pattern completed and now we are going to be cutting the fabric. 
Now with the cotton fabric, we are going to be making sure that it's folded in half. So we have double fabric to cut all of the pieces. So you're going to get one of the patterns, you're going to be basically pinning the pattern into the fabric. So now you're just going to be following the pattern, cutting all the way around and also making sure that you have a little bit for the seam allowance. And now you can just repeat the same with all of the other two patterns as well. And for the wraparound part, we are just going to be leaving a little bit more at the top on the waist so if we need to cut it after we will but I'm just gonna be leaving like this for now so now we are going to be cutting the lace and you want to make sure that you measure here for the bottom because the lace overlaps a little bit here the lining so the front of my shorts is five centimeters as you can see from the lining all the way to the lace and at the back is eight centimeters as you can see right here so what you're going to be doing first before you cut the lace is choosing what you want right at the bottom and then you're basically going to be measuring that as you can see i want this design to be here on the bottom of my shorts so i'm gonna go all the way up and then i'm gonna make sure that i have that much um, left here on the bottom so when I cut I have that really nice design on the bottom so I'm going to be measuring right here so that's five centimeters as you can see for the front of my shorts and that's basically perfect for what I want now we need to figure it out how much we need to cut from the lace so for my right side as you can see we need the front and the back and one thing that you guys have to keep in mind is that if your lace has a reverse in the right side, you want to make sure that you're going to be cutting the lace on the right side, mine has, so I'm going to be cutting on the right side of my lace on the right part of my shorts. I don't know if I'm making sense, but you will figure it out once you're doing it because you have the fabric and everything with you like in hand, so you know what you have to do. And then also here for the wraparound part, we need only one part, so we are going to be cutting exactly how it is right here into the pattern. So right here, I'm going to be cutting one part here for the front of the shorts, and then I'm going to be cutting also for the wraparound and you also want to make sure that you come all the way up and that you have the five centimeters extra here for the bottom as well once you have both parts nice and leveled so when you cut it's going to be exactly the same you can just go ahead and pin the fabric and the pattern with the lace and then you're going to be doing that for both of them and when you have this ready you can just go ahead and cut all the way around i'm going to be following here the pattern and when you get to the bottom you want to make sure that you leave the five centimeters that you need i left it a little bit more just to make sure and that's going to be counting for both parts i'm going to be cutting the extra five centimeters for the front right side of the shorts and also for the wraparound part of the shorts now the last one that I have to do is for the back of the shorts, so I'm going to be cutting one like this and one on the other side because as I told you guys already, my fabric has the right and the reverse side. And also remembering that at the bottom of the shorts I need 8 centimeters extra lace at the bottom. I am going to be cutting exactly how I did on the other one, just below these little rounds here that I have. That's around 11 centimeters. So I am going to be cutting my pattern a little bit higher so I do have the 8 centimeters of lace here at the bottom. And then once you have one side completed, you can just go ahead and do the same to the other side. So that we're going to be having two parts for the back of the shorts. Now we are going to be starting to assemble everything together and I'm going to be starting right here with the back of the shorts. So you're going to be placing fabric, lace, lace and fabric just as you see here in the video. And then you're going to grab some pins and we are going to be pinning along here the curve of the shorts. For the front it's going to be a little bit different because we don't have lace on both sides so we are going to be placing fabric, lace and fabric and then also along the side here on the curved part we are going to be pinning that together. And once you have that done you're just going to be getting your sewing machine and you're going to be sewing along where you have the pins right here. And as you can see I'm just doing a very simple straight sewing and also remember to backstitch at the beginning and at the end of each part that you're sewing. So right here for the wraparound of the shorts we are going to be grabbing each of the fabrics and we are going to be facing them on the reverse. So the right sides will be facing each other and the reverses will be basically 
on the outside. And you're going to be creating a straight sewing here on this part right here, which is not the curved part. The curved part will be for the hips and we are going to be sewing that with the other parts of the shorts. Once you've done the straight sewing, I'm just running along right here a zigzag stitch so I don't have any kind of frills showing on the right side. So now you're going to be turning this part here on the right side and we are going to be creating a straight sewing here right at the top with the lace and the fabric so it's not going to be moving around these two parts. And when I'm sewing, I'm going to be having the lace a little bit overlapping the lining. So when I'm basically wearing the shorts, people will not be able to see the lining on the other side. So you just want to make sure that it's like this. So this is how it looks like after sewing both parts together. As I told you guys already in the notes, I forgot to do the hem before sewing this part right here. So what I'm going to be doing now is opening a little bit on the side right here. And then I'm going to be creating the hem and then I'm just going to be sewing everything back again. For these shorts, I'm going to be doing a very tiny hem. So I'm just going to be making two folds right here, as you can see at the bottom. And then I'm just going to be sewing that in place with a straight sewing. You can also pin as you want. I just find it a little bit easier when I'm sewing in the machine. So this is how the hem looks like after it's done. And as you can see, this is how I'm going to be sewing it back the sides. I'm just going to be basically folding it back and then just sewing in place with back stitches right here. Here, what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to add the extra fabric on the back of the shorts right on the crotch area. If you've cut the fabric correctly, like at the beginning of the video, then you can just skip this part right here, I'm going to be putting the minutes right here in the screen and you can just jump into the next stage of doing the shorts. What I'm going to be doing here is having double fabric. I'm going to be getting the back of the shorts, I'm going to be folding it in half and having the reverse on the outside. I'm going to be placing the shorts on top of the fabric and pinning that in place. And now I'm just going to be repeating everything we made into the paper at the beginning of the video. So I'm just going to be drawing all the lines and connecting everything. Once I've done that, I'm going to be just cutting all the way around here the line. And I'm going to be leaving a seam allowance on the top and the bottom. And once I've done that, I'm just going to be turning on the back and just cutting that extra piece that we have here at the back. So we just have that very tiny piece for the crotch area. We will also need to cut some lace so it matches exactly the bottom of the shorts. And what you're going to be doing is placing it right on top as I'm doing it right here and matching it to the bottom as much as you can. And then once you've done that, you're going to be cutting exactly how much you need. As you can see here is just a little square here that I've cut. And you also will need two little pieces just like this one. Now to attach into the shorts crotch area, you will need to undo a little bit the sewing right here that we made at the beginning connecting these two parts together. As you can see here, I still have my shorts folded and I'm just going to be placing the first piece, which is the fabric, right at the bottom and matching exactly the little curve that we have right here and every time you add a new piece you want to make sure that you pin in place because otherwise it's going to be moving around once you've done that you're going to be placing the next piece which is the lace so you just want to match it exactly on top of basically the lace in the shorts already and once you've done that you can just pin that one in place as well and then you're going to be placing the second piece of lace and then you're going to be placing exactly on top of the other one and then you're going to be bringing the lace in the shorts and you're going to be placing on top of that piece that you just placed on top of the other lace and just make sure that you do pin this one in place as well and finally, you're going to be placing the last piece, which is in the short, so the fabric piece, and you're going to be placing the last fabric that we've created, the little piece here, the extra, and you're going to be placing it right on top, matching exactly the little curve that we have, exactly what we did at the beginning, and then just pinning everything in place. 
and before I sew because it's quite a lot of fabric like in between here that we have I'm just going to be hand sewing this part right here and then I'm going to go into the machine and secure everything in place and as you can see this is how it looks like once you hand sew in place so you know exactly how it looks like so just go ahead and sew that little curved part and all of the fabrics that we just sandwich all together for the sides of the crotch area as you can see i am sewing with a zigzag stitch but what i'm going to be doing is not sewing all the way through just a little bit so it covers that area from the bottom all the way going through the legs but i'm going to be leaving a little bit so i can do actually the hem afterwards so right here i'm just removing that thread that i've used to hand sew if you use the same color you can leave it but I didn't, I used a different color so I could actually see to remove it afterwards, so you can just do that if you want. Now is the time that we have to create all of the hems before we close the sides of the shorts and I'm going to be using the same technique that I've used to sew the hem for the front of the shorts, that little uh, wrap around of the shorts. So you can just do exactly the same, double fold it and then you create a straight sewing going across. And I'm going to be doing for all of the four parts of the shorts right here. So the front and the back, I'm going to be doing the hem for all of the four parts. I'm going to be starting with the zigzag stitch and then I'm going to be doing the hem as I always do for hems with cotton fabric like this one. So now it's the time that we are going to be creating the hem for that little added piece that we created at the crotch area. I'm going to be first cutting to match exactly the rest of the shorts as you can see we have a little extra piece right here. I'm just going to be cutting that straight. And I'm going first with a zigzag stitch and then creating the hem exactly how we did for the previous pieces as well. Now you can just go ahead and cut any extra pieces that we have hanging basically on the back of the shorts that we've added the extra lace. As you can see, I'm just removing that from the shorts. Because I've added that extra little piece on the crotch area, basically the bottom of my shorts, they are not matching. So what I'm going to be doing is creating a sewing right on the curve right here on the front of the shorts, matching exactly the bottom of the shorts. So we can basically sew that little crotch area together. And I'm just using here a choke so I can basically draw the line that I'm going to be sewing. And I'm also just pinning here all the layers so when I'm sewing they're not going to be moving around. And then now you can just create a straight sewing following the line that you've created and also the pins. Once you've done that, you can just go ahead and cut that extra little piece that we are not going to be using anymore. And now as you can see, both parts here in the crotch area are matching perfectly with each other. Now you want to make sure that the shorts is going to fit you nicely before you close the sides. I'm just using right here the shorts that I'm basically doing the pattern and I'm placing it on top and cutting any extras that I have on the sides as you can see. And I'm also doing that for the back and the front of the shorts. Now you're just going to be pinning both sides because we are going to be trying on before we sew these parts together. After that I'm just going to be trying on the shorts and I'm going to be pinning both sides as you can see right here just to make sure that it's fitting me the way that I want and once I've done that I'm just going to be cutting the extras that I have on both sides just leaving the seam allowance. We are going to be now pinning everything together all of the parts of the shorts. You're going to be starting with the front on the table as you can see and the right side is facing you and you're going to be placing the wraparound part right on top with the right side also facing you and while you're doing this you want to pin things together I'm going to be pinning here on the wraparound right on the waist on the front of the shorts and now I'm going to be adding the back of the shorts but with the right side facing the shorts and the reverse facing you and now is the time that you have to choose which side you want to place the zipper. I'm going to be choosing the side with less fabric, so the right side. And right here I'm just pinning the left side all the way across. And for the right side we are just going to be pinning halfway through because then we have the rest for the zipper. I am changing now here into my zipper foot. And I'm using this one because I can get as close as possible to the zipper teeth. 
So this is the zipper that I'm going to be using to sew into my shorts and most of the time I will have the zipper facing me. And I'm going to be sewing kind of like a little bit more than halfway through the side of the shorts right here. So we have the zipper facing you at the moment. What you're going to be doing is getting one of the parts and you're just going to be folding the part backwards. So you have the teeth of the zipper facing you now at the moment. You can move the zipper a little bit up if you want because we are going to be adding the band on the waist afterwards as well. So we are going to be cutting that little piece off. And then you're just going to be pinning the zipper all the way until you're going to be sewing. So I'm just measuring here for you guys and I'm going to be sewing around 18 centimeters and that's around 7 inches as you can see from the top all the way here to the bottom. And once you have everything in place you just want to make sure that the zipper foot is placed on the right side as well. And as you can see, I'm just sewing basically with a straight sewing as close as I can to the zipper teeth as possible. And before I finish sewing the zipper right here, I'm just going to be marking where I'm going to be finishing so I can follow exactly on the other side. And for the other side of the zipper, we are going to be sewing from the bottom, working our way up. And we are just going to be doing exactly how we did on the other side. You just want to twist it and you want to place it down with the fabric and we are going to be pinning all the way across. And now for the other side, I'm just going to be starting here from the bottom, working my way up into the zipper and I'm just using the same technique as I've used on the other side. The zipper is going to be twisting here once you've done the two techniques that I showed you like on both sides. You can just untwist that and you can check if the zipper is working basically. And this is how my zipper looks like after I sewed everything together. And once you're happy on how the zipper looks like, you can just go ahead and cut all of the remaining that you have on the bottom. And with a needle and a thread, you can just hand sew right at the bottom together so it's not going to be opening when you're wearing it. Now to finish here the zipper, we are just going to be closing the bottom right here that we have to close right at the end after the zipper. So you're going to be moving the zipper tail to one side, making sure that you're not going to be sewing this in place. And you're going to be starting the sewing as close as possible to this sewing that we've created here for the zipper. And you're just going to be sewing all the way down. I'm just going to be pinning this in place before I sew so I know that all the layers are basically together and I'm going to be sewing everything in place. And you can just go ahead and sew this one with a straight sewing. I'm still using here the zipper foot because it's really good to sew at the very beginning right here. So this is how my zipper looks like and I'm very happy on how it looks like and how all the lace as well aligns with the other side as well with both parts. So yeah, this is how mine looks like. Now I'm just going to be sewing the other side of the shorts just like a normal straight sewing and then I'm going to be moving into the wrap around of the shorts and I'm just going to be creating a sewing connecting basically the front of the shorts with the wrap around. Here I'm just showing you guys how I've sewed the wrap around with the front of the shorts but it's very simple just make sure that you have all the layers together and that you're grabbing all of the layers as well. And now I'm just going to be sewing the bottom, the crotch area of the shorts, the two parts together. You just want to make sure again that all the layers are basically together. And then you're just going to be sewing and also creating a lot of back stitches as well. Just to make sure that that part is very secured in place. And I'm not going to be sewing the lace because I'm going to be doing that part by hand. We are going to be doing now the waistband. So you will need the fabric, the cotton fabric and the lace as well. And for the lace you want to make sure that it matches the very top of the shorts. You don't have to do that, I just think that it looks a little bit nicer. The first thing you're going to be doing is measuring half of your shorts. Mine is around 37 centimeters, which is 14 and a half inches. And you want to make sure that you do a little bit bigger. So instead of doing 37, I'm going to be doing 44 centimeters just to make sure that it goes all the way around and that you have enough fabric as well. 
and I'm going to be doing the same centimeters as my shorts so the waistband is around three centimeters but we still need to give like one centimeters for the seam allowance so we can basically sew everything together so I'm going to be doing around eight centimeters in total you want to make sure that you have a fabric that it's long enough for basically the centimeter that you need I'm doing 44 centimeters so I need a the fabric to be basically 88 centimeters because we are going to go all the way around if you don't have then you can just join fabrics together until you have a band that is the centimeters that you need so I'm just measuring here to see if I have the right measurement for my waistband and I'm just gonna get my roller here and I'm just gonna go across here where I just measured and then I'm going to be measuring the 8 centimeters for the width of the waistband and then I'm just gonna be cutting that straight down and then you just want to do exactly the same here with the lace so now we are going to be ironing the waistband but just the fabric so we have basically the folds that we are going to be doing to make the band basically first you're going to be folding the waistband the fabric in half and you're going to be ironing this one down and you're gonna go all the way across the waistband and then you're going to be using the middle line that we just ironed and you're going to be basically folding one of the sides until it reaches that line and you're basically going to be ironing that side down and then you're going to be repeating the same to the other side and making sure that you do this all the way across the waistband the easiest way that i found to put this together the waistband was basically to sew the fabric with the lace first and then attach the waistband to the shorts so that's what i'm doing here i'm just going to be pinning all the way around and then I'm going to be running a zigzag stitch going all the way around where I've pinned and right here I'm just gonna be cutting that little piece that I told you guys that I was going to cut for the zipper so you can just go ahead and do that on both sides we are going to be folding one of the sides of the waistband as you can see here and we are just gonna run a straight sewing right here just in a corner so we don't have any lace moving around when we are basically sewing the waistband you're going to be choosing one of the sides to start I'm starting here on the left side you want to make sure that it's very close to the zipper I'm working here on the inside of the shorts first because we are going to be sewing all the way around and then we are going to be folding it forward so you want to make sure that you on the inside of the shorts and then you want to pin the waistband all the way around you will see what I'm doing here in the video as well and when you get to the other side what you're going to be doing is folding the rest of the waistband and then you can just cut most of it off as you can see here you want to make sure that it's as close to the zipper as possible you're gonna go back into the sewing machine and you're going to be doing exactly what you did to the other corner you're just going to be creating a straight sewing just securing that little part in place so it's not gonna be moving when we are going to be sewing once you have that done you just want to make sure that it's as close as to the zipper as possible and you're gonna be pinning that down because now we are going to be sewing all the way where we've just pinned I'm going to be starting right here close to the zipper creating a straight sewing very close to the zipper and then I'm just gonna be moving the shorts basically on the side and then I'm just gonna go all the way around the waistband and if there is any excess right at the top you can just go ahead and cut it the next step would be for you to basically put it straight on the table and then you're going to be folding right on the first fold that you did with the iron and then you're going to be folding it again right on top here of the lace of the shorts and everything grabbing that layer the first layer of the shorts and you're going to be basically sewing that in place basically closing the waistband and then you're going to be doing this all the way around I'm going to be pinning this first as I always do and then I'm just gonna be running a straight sewing all the way around and also because this part is a little bit thicker the things that you cannot do in the sewing machine then you can do by hand as you can see here very close to the zipper right at the end I'm just sewing by hand just going back and forth just to make sure that everything is nicely closed and there is no holes or anything or no lace showing or sticking out so if you have something like this because my sewing machine doesn't really sew very thick 
materials imagine there is a lot of fabrics a lot of layers so it's not gonna be sewing if you have a different machine then maybe it will but if you don't then you can just hand sew these little parts in place and the next step would be for you guys to add a hook and eye right on top of the zipper this is optional you don't have to do that the way that it was without the hook and eye it was good but I just wanted a little bit closer together right at the top of the zipper because I think it looks a little bit neater so you're just gonna go ahead and sew the hook and eye in place making sure that it's very close together the fabric before you sew you can see that I'm kind of like holding the hook and eye and then sewing at the same time just to make sure that the fabric right on top of the zipper it's very close together and as you can see this is how it looks like after when I've attached the hook and eye as well and i think that looks a little bit nicer but then it's going to be up to you if you want to do this part or not the final steps that we are going to be doing here is just deciding on the length of your shorts so i'm just going to be cutting all of the round detail off as you can see i'm just cutting all the way around into all of the parts because now we are going to be start sewing and basically making it nice and neat and with a very tiny scissors, you just want to go around the bottom of the shorts and you just want to cut all those little laces sticking out. There are kind of like some little points sticking out. So you just want to make sure that you clean all those little edges just to make sure that it's nicely and knitted as well. And you can see here in the before and after, it makes a dramatic change as well. If you clean these little points on the, on the lace on the bottom, so you can do that as well if you guys want. And on the sides, as I told you guys already, I was going to do by hand and that's very simple. What you're going to be doing is just grabbing both parts that are basically opened here on the side. You're going to be holding that with one hand and then with the other one with your needle and thread. You're just going to go around and sewing the lace together, making sure that you sew in the thicker parts so you can actually just make it as secure as possible and also making sure that you fasten off at the beginning and at the end as well so everything is nicely secured in place and after you sew everything in place you can just cut the remaining that you have on the reverse of the shorts like laces and fabrics and things like that just to make everything nice and clean on the inside of the shorts as well and this is how the sewing looks like and you can see that you don't even see the sewing that you made because it's lace and it's quite busy so you don't really see where you made the sewing if you grab like the thicker sections and make it very nicely and tight and also on the wraparound part the lace is also sticking out so you want to make sure that you clean that part as well the little edge on the wraparound but it will depend as well on your lace that you have if you have more like a square lace then you probably don't have to do that but because of my lace it's kind of like it has some edges so I have to kind of clean all the way around these little frills that it has kind of going around yeah and that was the last step and this is how the shorts looks like and I really like how the shorts turned out it looks so amazing in person and also here in the video and one thing that I really like about the shorts and the lace as well is that everything matches from one side going to the other side and it kind of looks expensive when it's like that it's like oh it was made by hand because you could actually just match all the lines as well so yeah this is everything for today's video guys and i really hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial with me and also let me know if you guys make the shorts and how you went as well following the tutorial and also share with me on all of my social media your creations as well that you make here on the channel i love to see everything that you guys do here on the channel and thank you guys so much for watching today's video and see you guys soon on the next one bye bye guys